Hi, I'm Emma Jenkins. I'm a specialist in contract law and I've been brought in to work as your agent. I'll be working to get you the best deal in the boardroom, which means you need to do the best possible job out there on the circuit. When you get new contract offers, either from new teams or an amendment to your existing offer, it'll come through me. I'll also keep you up to date on discussions behind the scenes to change your terms or any specific goals that the team has set for you. If a contract offer does come through, I'll present to you the available offers and then you can make the call. I assume that all sounds fine. Well then, good luck this season and I'll catch you later. Okay, so we're back here with F1 2016 career mode. So, yep, we get McLaren Honda. My name's Chris, and I'll be working with you as your Chief of Vehicle Development. It'll be my job to get your feedback as a driver, and to direct our upgrade design in the areas that you feel are most lacking. At each Grand Prix, we can run a series of practice programs and log the performance of the car as you drive it at its limit. This gives us data that we can utilize to develop various performance improvements. In order for me to know which upgrades to prioritize, I'll need you to select a development area that you'd like us to focus on. And you can do that in the R&D section of your laptop. Anyway, that's all for now. But I'll keep you up to date, OK? I'll see you soon. Everyone's talking about this new rival you have. Check his stats out. Yep, so button the uh, but yeah, we qualified P9 in qualifying. It is all set then for the race tomorrow. Button P11. Hi, guess who? I've seen the team's expectations for the race, so I thought I'd pass them on and wish you luck. Take care. We've qualified above where we expected to be, so try your best to hold on to this position in the race. Well, this is going to be fun. Intermediate conditions, P9, five red lights, and off we go for the Australian Grand Prix. So now we can finally speak properly. So yeah, as we've got a brilliant start, it's better off to a slow start. Going up to into turn one. Do slide in a little bit and we see front wing off into the sand pit, so something's happened behind. Yeah, we're up to P5, what a brilliant start. Yeah, onto lap three, Kimmy Viking is trying to overtake us, going to leave room in turn one, we make a mistake by doing that, but Kimmy's locked up. Yeah, there you go, on board. As you can see our helmet. He just locked up randomly. He could have survived that corner. But yeah, we are Harry Anto's out of the race, sadly. So quite like Harry Anto. Couldn't, couldn't afford not to see that. But yeah, anyway, a bit later on, we got a bit of a gap now as the Ferraris are battling out and it's Felipe Ma Massa. So you just put it into the wall. What are you doing? Yeah, I'll put it on simulation damage. So I found it fun in the second half of the season on my. That's career mode. Yep, so lap 7, to make a of mistake as we lose it on the end of, I don't know what time that is, as Kimmy gets past us, to make a little bit of contact, we're going to try and overtake him, build the late dive bomb, we kept it alive, McLeod, no, Mercedes and Red Bull shot off Ben anyway, lap 14, pretty sure it is going to stay like this all day, so we're going to come in for a nice set of the intermediate tyres, to the end, Good at mass. But I should be able to do some fast faster laps now. Light on fuel on a brand new set, even though the last one were brand new set but heavy fuel. So, yep. Yeah, looks like we're coming out in P8. P8 is good, yeah, it's good fast. Yep, yeah, we're coming out in P8 then. Try and get past he get his position back. We make a mistake coming out in the pit. Yep, yeah, lap 15 lap later, Gutierrez is in. Let's see if we come out. We've done the undercut on Kimi because obviously Vettel was in front of him. And yeah, we came out a few seconds in front of Kimi. So yeah, a bit of a bigger gap to Vettel too, so it really worked out quite well in the pit stops. And anyway, on lap 17, we set new fast lap, lap 21, new fast lap again. Lap 24, been setting quite a good fast lap, so anyway, it's been a yellow flag in front. You look to try and take the Sauber, but yeah, we've gone purple, and who's that? It's Hamilton, we're up to P4. We're catching up the Red Bull ever so slightly, but a lap later, in the same place, is that an entry failure? Max Verstappen is out of the race. We have got a podium, oh my god. We come around the last corner, 
we have came in P3. What a brilliant result. I thought we'd have stayed in P5. But Hamilton, I don't know what happened to him. I couldn't get the replay of it, sadly. But he somehow crashed out. And just happened with a lap to go. Had an engine failure. Jesus Christ. We got a podium already. This is on Master AI. So we're not what we played with last time. I've not played this game since a good few weeks. Probably over a month. This is before all this fun online shit happened. So yeah, we're on the podium somehow. But that was brilliant ending. But Nico Rosberg, sadly, will race winner, but it'll have to do. McLaren on the podium, I never thought I'll ever expect that this early on. Now, there is some big upgrades we should be getting, like engine, fuel efficiency, because that was the main struggle, but I'm going to focus on the downforce, because... I really struggled this round of the world a bit trying to steer, steer around the track. Rosberg, so yeah, the lead of the Pascal, P15, Button, he was involved with the massive crash, so a bit unlucky for him. My driver of the day, Crofty, was Danny Kvyat. Kvyat. Tenth place. Yep, don't mention a fucking McLaren on the podium. Instructors. Fourth place in the Instructors Bunway. That is the end. Like and subscribe for more to you on the next one. Goodbye.